All right, I'm out road cruising in the fall. A lot of times people overlook the fall as a good time to go out and road cruise for amphibians. Most people think of the spring migrations. However, there's another migration occurring during the fall, which is pretty spectacular. And that's the migration of the marbled salamander. The marbled salamanders actually migrate to their pools in the fall before the vernal pools are full of water. They go to these vernal pools and lay their eggs and guard them, usually underneath a log or a rock, in a dry depression. Now usually during the winter we're going to get a lot of snow, there's going to be a lot of snow melt and a lot of rain in the spring, and these vernal pools are going to fill back up with water. When these pools fill up with water, the eggs that are deposited in the pools will be triggered to hatch. So there will be active marbled salamander larvae swimming in these pools in the springtime when the other spring migrants come here to these vernal pools to lay their eggs. So hopefully we get lucky tonight and we find a couple marbled salamanders on the move. Well this may not be the most exciting find of the night, but it is still nice to see amphibians on the move out here in the fall. This one here is just a, he's hopping. This is an American toad finding his way across the road. There he goes. I don't think he's going to need much more encouragement than that to get out of here. Come on. All right, let's keep looking for marbled salamanders. So, here's a good look at the male marbled salamander I just found crossing the road here. Pretty nice male. I'm just gonna let him go across the road. Get him going there. There he goes. Very cool. Let's see. Oh, pretty nice looking marble salamander there. I'm gonna help this one across the road. This is got kind of a long way to go too. Just got a helping hand in the yeah. Come here. Whoa! 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 They're slippery when wet. Here you go, little guy. Safe and sound. Go make some more baby marble salamanders. Don't run over any salamanders, please. Not that he can hear me. There sure are a lot of marble salamanders out on the road tonight. Here's another one. Look at this guy. I gotta be cautious. I'm on a road where I've been seeing quite a bit of cars, so I wanna hurry up and get this guy across so I don't endanger myself or the salamander. These guys are just amazing. I love these guys. Crap, I'm pretty sure I got another one. Crossing the road up here. Let's see. Is that it? What do we got? Ah. I knew I saw one. Here we go. Uh, another big handsome male. Check that guy out. He is handsome. All right, we're gonna get him out of the road and keep moving on. There's a lot of these guys out tonight. Alright, it's been a few weeks since that first fall rain when I was out finding marble salamanders crossing the road at night. So now it's time to go see what all the excitement was about and where those marble salamanders were headed to. In the spring, this vernal is usually full of water about two feet deep and 20 yards wide. Today we arrived to only a small puddle, hopeful to find a marbled salamander guarding its eggs. Very gently, very gently. 
gently put it back down. Some of the eggs are actually not even under the log. You can see them on the ground next to the log. See them right there? I think it is. Perfect. Excellent. So, this is what those marbled salamanders were doing moving across those roads to these empty vernal pools just a few weeks ago. They were coming to these dried up vernal pools to reproduce. My fiance Desiree just flipped one under this log and the eggs were actually spilling out from underneath the log. Now I just filmed a quick video clip of the salamander and we gently placed the log back. It's very important to leave these animals as undisturbed as possible during this time while they're guarding their eggs. This marble salamander will remain under this log and guard these eggs until either it gets too cold and starts to freeze and forces the salamander back underground, or the vernal pool fills up with water and inundates these eggs. At that point, the eggs will hatch and the next generation of marble salamander will begin swimming around and within a few months, will look just like the beautiful adult marble salamander. Desiree and I headed home after a great day in the field. As the leaves fell, we remained hopeful to get in one more adventure before winter set in. <laughs>